Morning, sport fishing fans. It's Wednesday, October 11th. Just got everything all set up. It's supposed to be a good day today, according to the charts. But when I came in here, I think I'm synchronized with a full moon. When I turned into the boat ramp, I could see the full moon about 30 degrees above the horizon. So it's on its way down. But still, there was a full moon all last night, and the catfish down on the bottom looking up, and I can see all the bait fish, so they've been feeding up. And the bite not might not start until about noontime, but I'm hoping that it'll be a decent bite. The water temperature's... 62 degrees air temperatures right now it's about 50. Trying to catch some perch for bait. I've got some catfish nuggets. They're out on all four rods. So I got a pretty good spread out. I always go to this spot first thing in the morning. It used to be a really good spot. I don't think I've caught anything here but teeners in the last two years. But I still want to come here because this is the best place to catch bait. I'm watching over there where I catch the big ones when I do catch the big ones. And there's all sorts of surface action going on. It could be bass though. <laughs> Chances are they're 30 pound blue cats. Okay, you can see we've made a change. Moved down to the uh, narrows where the creek dumps into the river. This is where I've caught all my big fish. And I've been watching them jumping all morning long. While I've been trying to catch bait up on the other end. Well, I caught one eel. That's different. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, and it's not as big a bait as a headpiece off of a uh, perch. And I might catch something small, but whatever I catch, it's going to get a mouthful of A dot circle hook. Well, yesterday afternoon, I went and got my COVID shot and my flu shot, and they said, you're going to get the strong flu shot because um, over that age limit, I guess, where they say you need to have stronger flu shots. Another way they can get more money out of you. Anyway, I got that working on me. The other three COVID shots, I also got a COVID shot. and The last ones I had, I always had all the side effects they talked about. When they say, you may experience some uncomfortable side effects at the injection site and in aches and pains in your joints. Yeah, I got all that in every joint. And then I could hardly stay awake for a week. So we'll see how that works today. So two rods, there we go. Right here. And this has got the eel on it. Something came up and whacked it. Probably a little dink. I can't imagine something eating that fresh eel. I just caught it and not running off with it. If you see other one, one of those other rods going crazy, let me know. I 
is a turtle. His head sticking up over there. That could have been what it was too. I need to try to catch some bait. Rip the lips off of whatever this is. Sure doesn't feel like much, but it's something. I didn't know they made them that small. I don't know if you can see that. That's a sport fisherman, about a 60 footer, going 50 miles an hour. Okay, little guy, go get big. Hopefully we got bait. Woo, that's a nice, yeah, nice white perch. to replace those catfish nuggets with a nice headpiece. Avoid the net. That's my smorgasbord of eel. That's what we're dealing with, those little dinks. Especially on those pieces of eel because they're small.
How you like my bait knife? It's a uh, Uncle Henry Schrade or Schrade Uncle Henry. Got a fake Chinese deer antler for a handle. Got a nice little brass tang keep you from cutting your finger off. But uh, what's nice about it is this thing is really stout and sharp. And um, I can cut through the backbone of a white perch. I can just lever down and cut the fins off. It makes a really good bait knife. And uh, they were almost giving them away at Bass Pro Shops. Had a real inexpensive price on them. Made in China. Gets dull, throw it away and buy another one. putting up with the weight now from that sports fisherman. That's what all that action is. I mean, that was a half a mile away that he went by and he's throwing wake. And I'm out there dragging on the bottom, on the main part of the river. One of those things goes by and it'll put you down. Another nice white perch. I don't go. They put those fins up. I'm gonna get you. You got me. Now I'm gonna get you. I think it's time to put some real bait on here. You might want to look away if you're squeamish. Not a whole lot going on. I'm watching some action out on the main river. A lot of topwater stuff going on. And I think those are big catfish. There's a lot of nibbling going on in here. And this is usually a choke point where when the bait comes in we got a good east wind going on right now some would say wind from the east the fish bite the least but in this situation where we've got a creek and a narrow here when the winds blowing across the river all the bait fish go with the wind and there's a shallow here and the sun's been beating down on this shallow for three hours now it's fairly warm so the bait fish are holding here and you can see the slick where the lighter colored water is here and then out on the main river it's uh, darker blue. And that's just fish oil from the bait. 
and the uh, surface action I'm seeing is right on the break between the bait slick and the uh, main part of the river. So it might be that these are all just little dinks in here and the big boys are out there on the break. So I'm not going to be messing around here too much longer. I'm going to break out uh, planter boards and get out there and get involved in some of that stuff. I'm going to give it another 15 minutes here. Well, we shall see. Okay, we're going to fish three rods. Two out on the planters and one down the center. We're all done bait fishing. kind of disappointing here this is usually a good spot but what can happen is the fish might not be here now they're still out there working I lost him screwing around with that one. He's not a big one, but he's the perfect size to eat. I got a big one.
bunch of line in it. Feels like it's getting fish. This old tiger ugly stick bent right over. And this is the medium. I think this might be the biggest one I've ever caught.
about 40. <laughs> That got the old ticker going. He took it right out of my hand. get a weight on him. <laughs> He's a horse. Forty two inches. Okay, I got to get him back in the water. Okay, big guy. Forty, 
42 inches, 38 pounds. And he slimed me. <laughs> Rolling motor back in the water, put it on spot lock. So I'm drifting into the bank. Okay, now I can deal with this. He's coming in and I'm not wrapping up in the motor anymore. So he's coming right in. But he's taking drag. I told you wrong before on these rods. These are the uh, ugly stick medium lights. It's a 30 pound class rod. Okay, he's coming in. He just rolled on. Oh, oh he's not big. He's better than that dink, though, that I was keeping for some. Both of those were caught on head pieces. and below. Go on the supper table.
craziness fishing for these things. Three rods. I think I'm far enough away from that duck blind to keep them out. found it. Probably tomorrow. So, till then, see you later.